my name is Shar and I am in Hong Kong Airport. So I just landed. The flight from Manila to Hong Kong is like 1 hour and 45 minutes or even less than that. I'm not sure. I didn't really pay that much attention in the air flight itself. So, um, because today someone paid me a visit. I'm not sure if I'm using this correctly, but... Meaning of that is like, someone paid you a visit, that someone is not, is not really a person, but that is actually your menstruation. Like if you're a girl, like if it's the time of the month again, so someone that someone paid me a visit and um, I didn't know what to do. Actually I found out I found out this morning. So boys if there are boys watching this video, stop right now. This is not a topic for you. But if you're very curious, go ahead and watch it. So this is like an all-girls talk. Because this, you don't have this kind of problem. Okay, so this video is entitled, um, it's a working title. So my working title is like, how to endure a flight when you're on your period okay. so there are at least like I thought of like five tips for you guys that I did just now because I just landed so this is what I did number one when traveling always bring an empty water bottle for your water and always make sure to ask for warm or hot water I only found this out like a few months ago that when you're on your period, you're supposed to drink warm water, not cold water because drinking cold water actually increases the pain of the cramps. Ever since I found that out, so I've been drinking warm water. Number two, always wear dark colored pants or skirt. The top two choices for me is like dark blue or black. That's the only top two choices. Like right now, I'm wear actually wearing like dark blue. You see? This is like... This is, this is dark blue. This is not actually black. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's like against the light. But this is dark blue. So why? Like you will be very, very like thankful that you wore like dark colored pants, like dark blue or black. If like you get blood stain on your pants, it won't be that noticeable. To avoid, you know, embarrassment of having that shobao thing. Shobao thing. Okay, a shobao thing is like a joke in the Philippines, like when you wear white skirt and then you have like one red dot. So it's like a shop out. Okay, number three, uh, bring a jacket. Okay, so if you're not wearing like a dark blue or black pants or shorts, and then suddenly you have like like a blood stain on your pants, so always have like a jacket so that you can like wrap around your waist so that it won't be that noticeable. So like you can just like do this. So, but mine is not really like a jacket, it's like a coat. So if you don't have a jacket and you just have like what I have right now, it's like a long coat. Um, it's also very good because it can also like cover the backside. So even if you have like the stain, it won't be that noticeable. Okay. Number four. This is like, um, like hack number four. It's not really a hack, but I feel like it's a hack. We are not used to using tampons, like not like in America. We use sanitary napkins. In the Philippines, there's a brand named Modest. I suggest that you use like Modest All Nighter. Longer, wider, bigger, more absorbent, drier. Get complete protection at night only from Modest. So it can almost cover up your your whole private area from front to the back. So why I suggest this? Because sometimes in the plane, right, you don't really sit upright like this, right? Especially if it's like a long flight, you don't really just sit like this. Sometimes you, you slant like this. Like you do this, 
right? You slant like that, or you you move around. So Modest All Night is actually very perfect if you like you like to slant when you're on the plane or when you just want to move. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to. Because it's cottony, it absorbs the blood very well, and you're not afraid at all. You don't have to worry if you will get like stain or it will leak. Because like I just like I told you, like it's covered from the front to the back. So that's like that's a very very good brand. This is modest. This is like my number one sanitary napkin if I'm going to travel and I have and I'm on my period. Number five. Change before you board. Why? Okay. Um, because if you're like me and you're very shy and you don't really want to bother the person next to you, like, oh, excuse me, I'm going to the toilet, would you please get up? Or, excuse me, would you please um, move a little so I can go out of the seat? So I'm a little bit shy about that. If you're like me and you're like that, so change before you go. Plus, it's hygienic, you know? Like according to some websites, you're supposed to change it every 15 minutes? I don't know, 15 minutes yeah. or 10 minutes. Yeah, you're supposed to change it like every 10 to 15 minutes because it's hygienic. Uh, it's hygiene, it's hygiene. So just a recap, so number one is always bring an empty bottle of water or a cup. Yeah. Number two, always wear dark colored pants. Number three, bring a coat, a jacket. Number four, wear modest all night. Number five, change before you board. It's sanitary, it's hygienic, it's personal hygiene. You've got to do it. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, I'm going to go around, buy some chocolates, I think, and spend some money. It's not like I have a lot of money. <laughs> I just have like a few. If you have other tips that you could give me uh, for traveling on your period, comment down below. You know, I would love to hear your, your comments and some tips, you know, because it's like a girl problem. It's like, you should be one. If you're already here, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you again next time. Bye.